As the dark clouds hover and the cell block door slams shut, you're instantly reminded the granite walls of Folsom Prison are as, as cold as they are uninviting. But just outside B Block, a giving spirit warms this space in a way you'd never guess. It's just a great thing. Great camaraderie in this room. This is where hardened criminals with their tattered arms and tarnished pasts work on putting back together the broken fabric of their lives by crocheting gifts for others. I got to put eight single crochets in a ring. They call themselves the Hooks and Ladders Knitting and Crocheting Club of Folsom Prison, where inmates make toys for needy children, hats for cancer patients going through chemo, scarves, blankets, you name it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one more. For inmate Eddie Rand, serving 25 to life, it's helped him find a way to take a deep breath again. It's very stressful day to day. You don't know what's going to happen in here. Um, we try to find things to do to keep busy. But the thing about crocheting is that you have to relax. And you have to have a thick skin if you choose to be in this club. Marsha Devers oversees the program. As other inmates were walking by, they would kind of snicker and laugh and, and tease and, and that kind of thing. That was a few years ago. The only comments being made now include, how can I sign up? I decided what the heck, I'd give it a try. Lifer Greg Gibson says he gets better with every ball of yarn. And the first things I, I did were pretty terrible, but it got better as I go and just practice. And now I'm doing some pretty good work. Gerald Hickman is also locked up for life. He calls this unusual inmate activity therapeutic. It's uh, relaxing. It's a good way to uh, release energy. And it's a great way to give these inmates a feeling so foreign behind bars, a sense of pride. I really see them walk a little taller. And it's really satisfying, especially when you're done with it, you know. I think this is a self-help group. They just don't know it. Because when they start giving, they get so excited and they just want to give more. A giving spirit on display in a most unlikely way inside Folsom Prison, where these men spend their time patching up old wounds by creating new gifts for others. Well, that is beautiful. This group relies on donations for its supplies, and it needs more. The Crochet Club is...